So hi, everyone. I'm Trish Ruswick. I am the team lead on the social team. And like Eli said, I'm going to be talking about unpacking social trends 2024 for nonprofits. So we only have five minutes. So let's just dig right in. Hootsuite's annual trends report is based on a commercial survey of 4,200 marketers and a consumer survey of 4,500 cons consumers. We interviewed people from 118 countries, 16 industries, directors, social marketers, partners, including some of our partners who helped us write this report, Giving Tuesday and Pulsar. During our research, three major trends started to present themselves, the ROI trend, the platform trend, and the AI trend. Considering today we have several incredible speakers talking about AI, I wanted to focus primarily on the ROI trend and the platform trend. Let's jump into ROI. Your audience has spoken and they want to be entertained. After staying in touch with family and friends, the top reason people are using social media is to be entertained. The problem we're seeing is that 44% of nonprofit organizations publish product and brand updates or news multiple times a week, and sometimes more than once a day. The major problem with this is when we asked audiences what would harm how they viewed brands on social, 34% said brands or organizations that are too focused on self-promotion. So we're seeing a huge disconnect between what organizations are posting and what audiences want to see and quite frankly want to engage with. Plus, 80% of nonprofits say their top metric for demonstrating ROI is through engagements. Needless to say, posting content that your audience doesn't necessarily want to engage with is taking a huge hit on your ROI. It is likely contributing to the concern nonprofits are having about reporting and proving their ROI. So what does this mean? You might jump to associating entertainment with humor and lightheartedness, but really what people wanted to see is something enjoyable. This could be something funny. It might also be something education, educational or hopeful. All to say, don't overthink it. 53% of consumers say that organizations should be more relatable on social. So we're encouraging you to be more social on social. Comment on other people's content. Ask your audience questions through the poll functionality on IG, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Jump on social trends and adapt it to your niche. It's a slow burn, but content that serves your audience will result in stronger relationships. Basically, we want you to use social for your organization like you use social for yourself. Now, moving along, right along into our platform trend. You work in nonprofit, the nonprofit space. Your time is precious and your resources are often very limited. But you've been told for years that you need to be where your audience is. I'm here today to tell you that philosophy is dead. We've shifted our mindset and hope to shift yours too. We don't want you to be everywhere. We want you to be present on the channels that drive the greatest results you can make engaging content for, that you have time to manage, and quite frankly, the ones that you like to be on. Creating engaging content is one of the biggest factors in this trend because cross-posting just does not cut it anymore. Each network has its own set of rules, trends, lingos, image specs, algorithms, etc. Content that fits each network performs better and creates a better experience for your target audience. And as a nonprofit social marketer, you're responsible for developing strategies, creating content, tracking analytics, responding to comments, scheduling posts, and staying up to date with the constant platform trends. You already got a lot going on, basically what I'm trying to say. So now that I've told you to cut out some networks, which ones are you picking? We found that nonprofit organizations were most confident in Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn, driving a positive return on investment for their organization. We also found that the top three social channels for nonprofits to be present on were Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Perfect. But I also did want to point out that compared to other industries we looked at for this report, nonprofits do use social YouTube at a very high rate in comparison to other networks. What are your next steps? First, we want you to run a social audit for the platforms you're currently on. If you're feeling the pressure to be everywhere, audit your presence on those different networks. Then go at the platforms that are driving results and are aligned with your organization's goals and basically cut out the rest. And finally, master the art of cross-posting. And yes, I know I just told you that cross-posting isn't cutting it anymore, but there is an exception to the rule. When you have content that can resonate across all of your channels, absolutely you should use it. As long as you're not using the copy and paste method and are making changes to the content on each network, we aren't opposed to you trying this type of cross-posting. I know this was super quick, so I hope you do check out the full report on our website. I'll store it in the chat here as well. It's full of great and useful tools and digs into more of our AI. And for nonprofits, you can always check out Hootsuite, where you can save up to 75%.